It's well known that courts can issue subpoenas, or written orders compelling persons to appear and give testimony to facilitate judicial proceedings. But in McGrain v. Doherty, we explore whether the Houses of Congress possess similar authority to issue subpoenas to facilitate legislative investigations. The Department of Justice, headed by the Attorney General, was established by Congress to, among other things, prosecute suits ensuring compliance or punishing noncompliance with federal law. After Harry Doherty became Attorney General in 1921, allegations arose regarding improper failures to prosecute. The Senate convened a committee to investigate. During its investigation, the committee served two successive subpoenas on Molly Doherty, Harry's brother, instructing him to appear and give testimony. Molly failed to respond. The Senate then adopted a resolution stating that Molly's testimony was necessary because the committee believed it could form the basis for legislative or other action. Consequently, the resolution authorized a warrant for Molly to be taken into custody and brought before the Senate. John McRain, a deputy of the Senate's law enforcement officer, took Molly into custody. Molly filed a habeas corpus action to challenge his detention, arguing that the Senate lacked authority to compel persons to appear for aid with legislative functions, and that even if such authority existed, the Senate's purpose here wasn't legislative in nature. The district court held in favor of Molly and discharged him from custody. McRain appealed directly to the United States Supreme Court.